The landscaping style for Urasenke Gardens is divided into three major categories. The large pond, with a lush, natural landscape. The dry landscape, resembling a dried-up riverbed. And the tea gardens paths, Roy. such as the ones found in the Uakuma, a long-established open-air restaurant. The request for crafting the paths in this small garden comes from a homeowner in Nara Prefecture. The homeowner, Mr. Sozo Kawabe, who has extensive knowledge of the tea ceremony through his involvement in various films chose Uekuma for this project. Nowadays, the courtyard land can be set up in a space of only five tsubo. Narrow site, surrounded on all sides with a sense of life. Taking on this task, gardener Kuosuke Ogawa, along with his master and two other gardeners, aims to complete the project within two weeks. The team starts by lifting the stones that were originally in the garden, using a tripod and hook. Bring out the best expression of stone. By standing the stone, it takes on a stronger presence. We carefully determine the height and position of the other stones. Next, we have an important stone called Tsukubai for purifying oneself. It got its name from the act of bending down to wash your hands. Pay attention to the angle. Now, we fill it with water. Let the water overflow. Close to Tsukubai, we lay down the stone lantern. At night, the light from the fire pot illuminates Tsukubai's water. Another essential element for the night is iron planted stones. Positioned to make sure the candle flame burns straight. In contrast, there's a bucket stone. By the way, the Omotesenke family has the left and right stones reversed. After this, hidden within the stepping stones is a secret. In this case, they are setting the stepping stones on a very small fortsubo, a unit of area, property. 
All the stones, used are natural, chosen for their ease of walking. And placed, one by one. You strike, and you walk, you walk, and you strike. Then, the master, noticed something. The flat surface, was sticking out on the left side. So, at the current position, the movement feels unnatural. They immediately make adjustments. お着物着て降りるんで、なるべくこうスッと足が運べる方が、はい。左足なら左足、右足なら右足というふうにこういうふうにあの交互に歩けるように飛び石の上を踏んでいったら間違いなくその Creating a meandering pathway with stepping stones enhances the beauty and makes a narrow space appear larger. It's about making the stepping stones look beautiful, even if they are straight. I batter is referring to the alignment of the stones. When the stones are aligned parallel to each other, it looks better. However, being too focused on the alignment can make it difficult to walk. Riku advocated four parts ease of walking to six parts visual appeal. Ease of walking refers to the practicality of walking, prioritized over aesthetics. On the other hand, Furuta Oribe, a disciple of Riku, emphasized aesthetics. After finishing, laying the stepping stones, they apply tataki, a traditional Japanese method to harden the ground. It is mixed with lime and plastered with Fukakusa soil from Kyoto and pounded. The term tataki comes from the act of combining these three elements. In an era without cement, this method was used to solidify the ground, particularly in Doma, a traditional Japanese earthen floor. However, this traditional technique is hardly seen nowadays. Once the tataki process is completed, they embed small stones within the surface. And then wash away the surface's lime residue to finish the tataki. Just like stone walls, the earth breathes, making it excellent for humidity control. After this stage, they implement unique ideas specific to the narrow pathway. The building a stone made, Koshi Kakemachiai. Typically, Koshi Kakemachiai are made of wood. Additionally, he dismantled the original stone arrangement to reuse those stones. Each stone has flat and three-dimensional surfaces, and the impression changes completely depending on which surface is displayed. 
崩れ済みっていうのはこういう立体を出すんですよねこういう。This time, he's combining two different stacking techniques. Using flat stones at some points to make it comfortable to sit. 腰掛けやからな難しいよ。これが安定製品からですね。You have to stack them tightly so that they securely interlock due to the weight of the stones. 難しい。After two days of work, the stone stacking is complete. They also hammer the surface for sitting. And as a first attempt, the stone kosi kakemachiai is finished. The view of the view is different from the wood. It's interesting. It's fun. I think it's good. It was a rainy day during this work. They're using tatami stones instead of Taiso era stones. In the Roi, mainly mountain stones and river stones are used. When river stones get wet, they become more vibrant in color. Create a natural feel by arranging large and small stones irregularly. Imagining a mountain path. It is said that the atmosphere of the alley will change by incorporating tatami stones. Tatami ji de ko, chotto ko irere koto ni yotte ne. At the entrance, they began digging dust holes in the changing area. These holes are called hiriana, which are not meant for trash, but for placing green leaves. Blue bamboo scatter brooms to clean oneself and welcome guests. They use a tataki to tamp down the area around the hole. Interesting stone is found here. Well, this is a little bit. 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 There's a unique stone that they want to use as a nozoki ishi, peaking stone. Nozokisi is a stone set at the edge of a hole to give a sense that you're peeking out. It's an ingenious touch specific to the narrow roi. After shaping and finishing meticulously, the kiriana is complete, making the most of the limited space. Next, they turn to bamboo, which is indispensable in the roi. They create bamboo frames. Moving from stone to bamboo in the work process, they interlace thinly split bamboo into the bamboo frame. This is the Branch folding is a door attached to the inner gate. They tie the intersecting points with dyed cords. It's interesting, but it's fun. Branch folding with uniform weaving looks beautiful and is now complete. Then, they installed it on the inner gate, called a chumon. This division separates the outer roi from the inner roi on the tea room side. 
Along the columns, they create bamboo fences. Kyoto is known for high-quality bamboo. Temples competed with each other to create bamboo fences that harmonize with their gardens, resulting in various types of bamboo fences. This time, they are using a 4i fence with bamboo intersections. It's said that a gardener's skills can be seen in the bamboo fence. But it's not suitable for the narrow roi, so it's obscured. On this day, they visit an established tree nursery. A challenging task, as there are very few options for this narrow roi, they need to choose trees that suit the atmosphere. Planting can change the impression of the Roy, so they can't make any mistakes. The trees that Kuosuke selected are delivered. It weighs over 50 kilograms. Planting creates a mountain landscape and also serves the purpose of concealing what we don't want to show. The plant used here is black bamboo. Its dark-colored culms blend seamlessly with the surroundings, creating a sense of unity. Green has entered the Roy. まあ、この先、え、so we hope the trees continue to thrive and improve. Afterward, the garden at Gotsubo transforms. In a small Gotsubo plot, a narrow pathway is created. え、周りにある飛び石や、え、つくばい。で、また食材なんかが、あの、とても引き立って、あの、見えてきます。Moss is meticulously applied. Further highlighting the rustic elegance. Then, they generously sprinkle water to make it adhere. They begin to pat it down, ensuring the moss binds well with the ground. And thus, the pathway is complete. In a tiny Gotsubo space, the ambience of a mountain landscape unfolds. 
the wind of the mountains gently brushes your cheeks, creating such an illusion. A once overgrown garden has been transformed into a sacred roi. The traditional Kyoto gardener's wisdom and expertise have converged. <laughs>